So race 13, Grand National Day, is a two mile four furlong handicap, 0 110. It's the DMPC, so number one, even top, top weight, Stu Gray. Two, record breaker, Kevin Minan. Three, vocal performance, Kai Arganti. Four, base of Joffa, Darren Thompson. Five, Denza Pill, Obi One. Six, fire trap, Kevin Minan. Seven, Indy Leaf, and Kai Arganti. Eight, mighty Danny for Alex Cherry. Wolf is James Follis's number nine. Spanish Signorita for Martin Needham, number ten, the favourite. Eleven, one man for Darren Howes. Twelve, half time, tea time for Stu Gray. Thirteen, is rising damp for Del to the little Del Hinton. They're already underway. As we can see, the conditions have changed overnight. We've gone from heavy yesterday to good today. It must have been a lot sunnier than it looks now. Or a typical uh, Irish sea wind blew across Liverpool to change the ground as much as it did. But it's Indy Leaf that leads us by about five to the rest of the pack as they go over the second. Dance pull through to take up second on his own as they get over the third. So it's Indy Lee from Mighty Danny rising down at half time tea time and a half a length back to vocal performance and even top. The light blue silks of Wolf on the outside, then followed through by record breaker and Spanish Senorita. Then we've got one man, Denon's Appeal, and then Fire Trap just at the rear, sharing it with Denon's Appeal. So there's still a couple of miles to go. They go over the fourth. They're all successful over that, and it's still Indy Leaf that leads us. Right through another five furlongs, and it's Indy Leaf by about four to Mighty Danny. Half time, tea time, wolf, vocal performance. The white silks of even top, and then out wide is Spanish Signorita and Bays of Joffa. Now, a length or so back to Den's appeal. And then three at the rear, one man fire trap and record breaker. As they approach the next. Just the fifth. Everybody's over it. Got another seven fences to take. Or oh, hurdles, should I say. Apologies. It's Indy Leaf over the six. That's half of the hurdles done now. And there's the furlong pole. As you can see, they're running up to elbow there, which will happen when they come off of the chase course. In three races time. It's Indy Leaf that leads them past the finishing pole. Another circuit. Take this left turn. As you can see, if you're not on the inside of entry, you lose lengths every time. Um, the worst one was rising damp there as he went round. So he'll be doing two miles six furlongs if he wins. But it's still Indy Leaf by about four to Wolf half time, D time, and Mighty Danny. And it's back to vocal performance and even top. There's no chance off top weight. And then that's Spanish Senorita and Rising Damp. And record breaker Bays of Joffa, Denza Pilt, Fire Trap on one man. And it's a 0 to 100 this. So once it's the lower end of the hurdle horses. Over that really bad was one man towards the rear. There's a Darren Towers horse that's running, so he should be just grateful. But it's Indy Leaf from Mighty Danny and Rising Damp as they go over the eighth with just four hurdles to take. Another six furlongs to run, it's still Indy Leaf, Rising Damp, Mighty Danny, Wolf, half time, tea time pushing through. Bays of Joffers there moving well on the outside now is Spanish Senorita in the white silks even trying to push through. Followed through by Fire Trap, Vocal Performance, Denza Pill, Record Breaker, One Man. So up front it's Rising Damp that draws alongside Indy Leaf inside the final five. Still only a couple of hurdles to take and it's Indy Leaf, Rising Damp. These two are one and two pushing out of the chasing pack is Mighty Danny to get to the th tenth in third but it's still Indy Leaf and Rising Damp. Comes Mighty Danny to try and throw down challenge out on the outside bays of Joffa. A low weight for a Darren Thompson horse in a hurdle, I imagine. It's probably a jumper, and he's the one that's going to try and challenge Rising Damp, who's uh, carrying even less weight. But it's Rising Damp, leads by a length from Bays of Joffa. Mighty Danny, Indy Leaf starts to go backwards. Spanish Senorita, half time, tea time, but it's still Rising Damp with just one hurdle to take and a furlong and a half to run. It's Rising Damp from Bays of Joffa. Mighty Danny, Spanish Senorita on the outside, it's between these. We're inside the furlong now, and it's Rising Damp from Bays of Joffa moving up on the outside. And it's Bays of Joffa. Bays of Joffa for Darren Thompson's going to take this from 
fast finishing Spanish Senorita. Rising Damp's got nothing left. So there's a win for Baza Joffre for Darren Thompson. Takes it from Rising Damp, Spanish Senorita on Wolf. I'll give you some stats on the top five trainers for the National Hunt later. <laughs> anyway, it's Baza Joffre for Darren Thompson. Takes it. Second was Rising Damp for Del Hinton. Third was Spanish Senorita for Martin Leland. Fourth was Wolf for James Follis. And fifth was Kevin Meanhan's Fire Trap. <laughs> 